Good morning, Upper Creek. Creek. It's time for your HCTV news. Attention students, send a candy gram to your friends. Candy grams will cost a dollar and will be sold during both lunches today. The candy grams will be delivered next Tuesday during third block. Attention all students interested in a fun experience next semester. Harper Creek Drama announces the 2023 Spring Musical, Schoolhouse Rock Junior Live. Auditions will be held at 3 p.m. on January 9th and 10th in the auditorium. You can pick up an information packet and a script review on the table outside of Mr. Harmon's room, room 222. Come be a part of an amazing show. The Harbor Creek Book Club sign-up is open again. Scan the QR codes on the flyers in the halls or post it in the library to join. Sign up by Friday. We meet twice per book, once halfway through and once at the end. We discuss as a group how long we need to read the pages and schedule meetings on Wednesdays together. Bring your lunch to the library and have an amazing discussion about a great book. Powerlifters who plan on attending the Grass Lake Meet on Saturday, December 17th need to see Coach Bilger for meet registration documents. Attention seniors, your senior picture should be submitted to the yearbook class by February 1st. Submit a head and shoulder shot to no hats, props, or hands by the fist. Separate from the yearbook, seniors can submit their senior and baby photos to the senior slideshow to this email or drop off a hard copy to Mr. Rio to be scanned. Over the course of the last few years, stress and anxiety have skyrocketed amongst high school students. If you want to come to a safe place to express your emotions and feelings within group and through activities, pick up a consent form in the counseling office and come to Ms. Hall's room, room 127 at 310 on Mondays. There will be a Harper Creek softball clinic January 14th from 4 to 6 in our Harper Creek High School gym. The cost is $20 and you can sign up in the athletic office. For questions, contact Coach Burrett. Our senior English classes would like to invite you to the 2022 Senior show Showcase. Our English 4 and Literature and Comp classes have been researching topics that they believe in. They will be presenting their topics December 19th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Visitors can tour the school and visit their collaborative booths. Please come and see the research they have done and the work they have created that is meant to educate, empower, or equip our community and themselves. Seniors, if you missed the meeting with Johnson's, packets are in the main office. Any student interested in the jazz band next semester or next year, see Mr. Borders in the band room. I'm Zach. And I'm Jillian. This is the last HGTV for this semester and for 2022. Good luck on your finals next week. Have a great holiday break. We'll be back in 2023. Now for some special segments. I'm Lauren. And I'm Sam. And, and we're, we're here, here to, to give, give you this week's sports update. The wrestling team competed Wednesday night. They fell short to Marshall, 36-43. They compete this Saturday at Gull Lake starting at 9.30. Good luck. The boys swim team beat Marshall on Tuesday and they swim at Mason on Saturday. Justin LaFleur already qualified for state in the 500 free and the 200 yard free. Good job, Justin. The varsity competitive cheer team placed eighth last Saturday at Spring Arbor University. They compete again this Saturday at Goebbels. Good luck, girls. Both boys and girls JV basketball teams won on Tuesday. Good job. Woo hoo! The girls varsity basketball team fell short to Marshall last Friday. They competed this Tuesday and beat Charlotte 51-49 on a buzzer beater. Good job, girls. The boys' varsity basketball team had a big win on Friday against Marshall. On Tuesday, they fell short against Olivet. Both boys' and girls' varsity basketball teams compete tonight at Northwest. The girls start at 5.30 and the boys follow at 7. The student section theme is hippie or tie-dye. Come out and support. And with that, I'm Lauren. And I'm Sam. And that, that was this week's sports update.